Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a house tour. I haven't filmed a house tour since last fall and I've got a ton of new subscribers since then. So some of you newer subscribers might not have seen that house tour and so I thought I would just do a house tour to show you the layout of our house. I know that you see my whole house in my cleaning videos and stuff, but I just thought a house tour might be helpful just so that you can know where all the rooms are. I'm gonna show you in some of the closets and give you some details of the house. Right now, every room in the whole house is spotless clean and this is pretty rare because I have two kids I'm busy so it's pretty rare that every single room in the house is spotless clean all at the same time while it's clean I'm gonna film this house tour and I just put both of the boys in the backyard so I'm gonna have to keep pausing the house tour to go and check on them I'll give you a few details before we get into the house tour so we have lived in this house for six years now which is crazy to think we moved into this house five months after we got married which would have been February 2013 we are just gonna get straight into this house tour now because I know the kids are gonna want to come inside soon And I need to get this filmed before they come back inside and wreck up my clean house Okay, so we'll start off right here at the front door and we actually hardly ever use this front door because we always come in the side door Because it's near the truck and guests usually always come in the side door too So this front door hardly ever gets used you can see Kyle's bike out there on the front porch But this blind on the front door is from Lowe's and I got this rug from Walmart years ago So I'm not really sure if you can still buy it there anymore. I always get questions about this plant that I have over here in the corner. This is actually two fake fiddle leaf fig trees that I got at Walmart. They come in these tiny little black pots and I just put some real dirt in there around them so it would look like they were a real plant. A lot of you think that these are actually real fiddle leaf fig trees when they're actually fake ones. I think they were like five dollars a piece from Walmart. And this pot down here is from Hobby Lobby. I've got a little entryway table here and mirror and I recently gave this a makeover. I'll link that video down below. I just painted it with some white chalk paint and distressed it. And I've just got a few little decor pieces on here. It's all from Hobby Lobby except the plant is from Ross. Okay so now turning over to the right we have our living room. First off I always get tons of questions about this rug and it is from Overstock.com. I have a couple of similar ones linked on my Amazon storefront because I don't think that Overstock sells this rug anymore. Sort of do regret getting a white rug because no matter what products you use if you spill something on this you're always going to sort of be able to tell. It'll have like kind of this just off white spot on the rug and also if a spot gets a lot of traffic it'll kind of get a little dingy looking and our two gray couches are from Ashley Furniture and I found the exact same ones on Amazon so I have them linked in my Amazon storefront and all of the pillows and the pink blanket they're all from Hobby Lobby and the sign and the side tables and the two lamps all from Hobby Lobby in front of this couch we have this coffee table here and it's a little bit too small for the room but it's fine I'm not gonna get anything different right now I'm just gonna keep this in here and I got this at Marshall's a long time ago so I doubt you can find it there anymore. I just got a couple books here, our Bible. Um, all of these things were from Hobby Lobby, the little tray, the flowers. You guys are always asking where to buy these wooden Bible stands and I just found a couple of them on Amazon and I have them linked in my Amazon storefront. I'll also have each individual item linked down below if I can. In the corner, I've got this fake fiddle leaf fig tree that was sent to me from Nearly Natural. I'll link it down below. This basket is from Ross and the baskets on the wall are from Hobby Lobby. Beside the couch, I just have this pillow and then a basket full of like photo albums and a couple little books. I've got these white Ikea Ritva curtains on each of the three windows in this living room area as you'll see when we go over there. I'll try to link them down below. They're a really good quality curtain. They're super thick but they still let in a lot of light. So over on this side of the living room I have another fake fiddly fig tree from Nearly Natural and then beside that I have my piano. This room is laid out really strange because the fireplace is not in the middle of the room. It's like over to the side. This couch and the rug is centered in the middle of the room and then you can see where the fireplace is over there so you can tell that the fireplace is not in the middle of the room. Right now I'm standing by this window that looks out onto the carport so you can kind of see the view from here out into the living room and you can see all the way back into the hallway. So this fireplace is huge. It goes down through the whole middle of the living room so we kind of have like two different living room areas. I've got a little mirror hanging up in here right across from the side door and then here is that side door that goes out to the carport. We've just got a blind hanging on there from Lowe's and then that same rug in a smaller version from Walmart and they put a little bit of that wood flooring just right here at the door for when you walk in. We have the same wood flooring throughout the rest of the house. So I think all of these decor pieces right here beside the door are from Hobby Lobby except for the lamp and the blanket. And then I got a clock there on the wall from Walmart, a little lamp in the corner. This over here is our little movie watching area. We have this little brown couch. Whoa, it's out of focus. We have this little brown couch that actually is not that comfy. I would not recommend it so I'm not going to link it down 
down below. This blanket that I have on the back of it is super soft and comfy. This was from Ross, I think, and this wood wall is actually peel and stick wooden flooring, and we thought this would go a lot better than it actually did, but this was a complete flop. I do not recommend doing it at all, and I think it probably was just because we have the textured walls, but I think even if you didn't have the textured walls, it still probably wouldn't work that well. If I would ever do something like this again in a different house, I would just use real wood. This is what the other side of the fireplace looks like. This fireplace is more centered in the center of the room, and then over there, the fireplace is like off to the left. We don't use this side of the fireplace, so I just have some birch logs stacked in there just for looks. And then over here, I have my air purifier going, and this air purifier is by the brand Lavoit, and Lavoit is sponsoring today's video, so a big thank you to them. We've been using this air purifier for a few days now, and we love it. I love that it's very sleek and white, and it's not too large. This air purifier is called the Vista 200. It's an updated version of their LVH132 version. This air purifier has a three-stage filtration, so it has a nylon pre-filter, a true HEPA filter, and a high-efficiency activated carbon filter. It neutralizes 99.97 of airborne allergens, dust, and bacteria. It has a time function, three fan speeds, sleep mode, display screen, and a built-in nightlight. So here's a closer look at what the display screen looks like. I will put the link for this air purifier down below. They also wanted me to let you know that the Vista 200 will be going on sale in early May. They're going to be holding events on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and they will be doing huge discounts in the events. So make sure that you go and follow them over there if you are interested in buying one of these Vista 200 air purifiers. Thank you again to Lavoie for sponsoring this video. People who lived here before us use this area on the other side of this little wall as a dining room area. I think that's a great idea. I would love to turn this into a dining room, hang a lamp from here, and have a big table, but it's just not really practical for us since we can fit a table on this side of the kitchen, so we just use this as our little office area. I've got some more of those Ikea curtains on this window, and this window looks out into our fenced-in backyard. I've got the boys' little Ikea table and chairs here, and I used to be able to keep all of the like markers, crayons, pencils, all that kind of stuff in a container on top of this table. Owen was just constantly getting into it and coloring on everything, so I had to just keep them put away until they're actually ready to do a project or something. And this is our current office setup. We need to come up with something different. I want to get rid of this collage wall because I'm not really loving it anymore. There's just so many exposed wires back there and stuff. This white table we got from Ikea and we really love it as a desk, but it doesn't hide the wires and stuff very well. So my husband does some online gaming on here sometimes as a hobby and he also does some online work as well. This side over here, I keep all my YouTube stuff back there. I keep my laptop over here so that I can work beside him or I have a laptop so I just pretty much work anywhere in the house. So now we're going to head around this way into the kitchen. Here is a little overview of our kitchen. We've got our little dining room area on this side and then this side over here is the actual kitchen. Over here beside the fridge, this countertop is just kind of like the catch-all. Usually there's always something stacked on here, but I cleared it all off for this house tour. And then I've got my little candy dish, tissues, my little Bluetooth speaker. Over here I've got some Hobby Lobby decorations on the wall and then we've got our table and chairs. This table and the bench is from Grainwood Furniture. I'll have it linked down below because I always get lots of questions. And then I do have these exact kitchen chairs linked in my Amazon storefront. I'll give you a little closer look here. They have that stained wooden seat and then the rest of the chair is metal. They're not the comfiest chairs in the world if you have to sit in them for a long time, but they are really cute. And I also really love the detailings on this table and the bench, but one thing to note if you're gonna order this table is that the top of it is not completely smooth just because they were going for that farmhouse look, so it was supposed to look like boards on top of the table, but it's fine. I really love the table, so I'll just put up with it not being smooth, but if you don't have a placemat down, then your plate is gonna be kind of wobbly when you're eating because the table's not smooth. This little like wooden cake stand was from Ross, and then I just have a hearth and hand candle burning here. And my coffee station and these shelves over here is one of my favorite areas in the kitchen. These shelves and basically all the decorations are from Hobby Lobby. And here's a little closer look at these shelves. They just have like this board look on the top of them and then the bottom of them is wrought iron. Here's my coffee station. I got my Keurig, my milk frother, and my mug rack is looking really empty right now because basically all of my mugs are in the dishwasher. We've been drinking a lot of coffee and tea. Also, I need to buy some more K-cups as you can see 
see that's looking pretty empty. I've got Owen's high chair right here. This is the Ikea high chair. We've really loved it. I'll try to link that down below. I actually think I have it linked in my Amazon storefront. And here's the view looking into the kitchen. I think if I was going to be staying in this house for a few more years, then I would actually paint these cabinets white just to brighten things up in here a little bit. Okay, I shut that blind so that it wasn't glaring so much, but all the decorations up on top of the cabinets I think are all from Hobby Lobby. Our backsplash is from Lowe's. I also get a lot of questions about that and it is real stone. But something for you to note about this backsplash because I always get questions about it so I'll just talk about it for a little bit is that it is definitely not easy to clean because it is real stone. It does come in slabs so I think that the slabs were probably about like this tall and maybe like from here to here wide. So they were easy to install because you didn't have to do grout or anything but they were hard to cut because it's rock. Then we did the under the cabinet lighting and over on the other side of the kitchen is the dimmer for them. There's three different settings and those are also from Lowe's. And I keep my countertops very minimal just because this is a little bit of a smaller kitchen. I don't have a ton of counter space so I try to not store a lot of stuff on my countertops. Here at my sink I've just got some little plants, scrubbers, soap, all the basic sink things. My oil diffuser right here and then over here these glass Montana jars. Always get questions about these and I do have these linked in my Amazon storefront as well. I do keep my blender out on the counter because that's something that I use almost every day and then I keep all of our vitamins here so that we remember to take them because I'm the worst at remembering to take my vitamins. And this door is my pantry door so in there is just a bunch of shelves that I can keep food on and stuff and then I've got a little chalkboard on my door there. Right off of the kitchen is our mudroom and laundry room so we've got the door here that goes out to the backyard. Trash can is over here in the corner. And this is my charging station for all of my vacuums. I got my cordless vacuum charging here. We got a little freezer right here and then this is my robotic vacuum and my handheld vacuum I charge right here and then here is the washer and dryer area and I do have detailed tours of each room in the house which I will link those videos down below. I have a tour of this laundry room and I also show how I gave this whole thing a makeover. Now I'm standing in the laundry room and we're going to head back through the kitchen and back the hallway and show you all of the bedrooms. Here is a look into the living room from the kitchen like you can see that fireplace just runs all the way down through the middle and I'll just show you in this closet real quickly. This is the joys of having a toddler. He used the pen and colored on the wall there. There just is the stuff for like the heating, the fireplace. I keep a few brooms and mops in there but yeah it's not too organized in there. Now we'll head back the hallway. I'll show you in a few of these closets in the hallway. These pendant lights I got from Lowe's on clearance. I've got one right here and then one around the corner. I hung those up a couple of years ago. Well I should say I bought them and then my husband hung them up. First door here to your right in the hallway is a coat closet and it's kind of dark in here but I just keep like the vacuum mops. I keep my camera tripod, my cello case. Then we just got coats and then some shelves for storage. This wall decor piece I got from Hobby Lobby and then I just used some string and these little clothespins from Hobby Lobby to put a couple of little pictures from me and my husband's Hawaii trip. This next door is another closet that just has a bunch of shelves for storage but it is currently not organized so I'm not going to show you in there. At the end of the hall I have this full length mirror and that's something that I recommend if you have a hallway in your house with the wall at the end is to put a full length mirror on it because it can help to make your hallway seem longer than it is. Next door here to the left goes into our master bedroom and I do have a detailed video tour of this room as well and I show how we gave it a makeover. We put new carpet in here, painted the walls, and I kind of wish I would have painted the walls a little brighter color but I like the darker color. It's very cozy in here but it almost is a little bit too dark with the dark furniture as well. We've got a fuzzy rug at the end of the bed and this bedspread I always get questions about. I got it years ago at Marshall's. I actually want to get a new bedspread just because we've had it for so long. We're kind of ready for a change. Little white mirrors I got on clearance at Marshall's, some lamps from Walmart, and then this wall is just all one closet but it has two separate doors so this side is my husband's to about here and then the rest is mine and we've got our mirror there up against the wall. We normally have that hanging up on the wall but I've been moving it to different parts in the house to take pictures for Instagram so it's currently leaning up against the wall. And this door back here leads into our master bathroom. I'll give you a quick peek in there. We've got a shower tub combo back here. The shower curtain is from Target. A little linen closet right there and then that door goes out to the laundry room. Walking back out of the master bedroom you see back to the kids rooms back here. I've got this wall hanging up here on the wall and to the left is the hall bathroom. This is the bathroom that the boys use but first you've got this linen closet right here and I did put up a video recently on my channel of how I organized this whole closet. It looked pretty bad before and here we've got tiled floors. These white rugs are from Ross. The boys little stools so that they can stand up to get to the sink and this is a really good size sink in this bathroom. This whole bathroom is a really good size. We've got a shower tub combo over here, a little linen closet, got a mirror here above the sink and a hanging pendant light and just a 
a couple things here on the sink. I've got my oil diffuser going over there. Now we'll get to these last two rooms and then this closet over here to the left. This is somewhat of a storage closet. We keep like boxes and just a couple random things in here. Our Christmas tree. I've got our Christmas wreath hanging up in there. A bunch of boxes up here. If you push up this board in the ceiling, you can get up into the rafters in like the crawl space. And then the floor as well lifts up and we have this tiny little basement. The basement is really small. It's probably only a little bit bigger than this closet itself. And down there is just all the basic things like the water heater, all that kind of stuff. It's just kind of like a dark hole. There is a light down there, but it's just kind of creepy down there. Now we'll go into this first room straight ahead here. This room actually used to be Kyle's nursery when he was a baby. Now it is just sort of the spare bedroom where we store stuff. We have this old bookshelf back here that we store things on. We've got these two twin mattresses. We're going to be using these in the boys room when they share a room eventually, which is probably going to be soon. And this is the guest bed in here. And Kyle has actually been sleeping in this guest bed since Owen was born, but all of his toys, all of his clothes, everything is over in Owen's room. And this week, we're actually going to be experimenting with both them sleeping in Owen's room together. So we'll see how that goes. If that goes well, then this room will solely just be a spare bedroom, guest bedroom, maybe an office eventually. I don't know. This room has two closets. This closet is just a bunch of shelves. That closet is so jam-packed full of stuff. It's just storage. Both of these closets are storage. I'll show you in this one, though. Shelves up here and then a rod to hang clothes up on, but I don't have any clothes in here. It's just storage. And this room in here is the boys room where I said Kyle is going to be sleeping eventually. Right now Owen sleeps in here in this crib. I love the bright color on the wall. I love all of the white in the room. I just think it's really happy and fun in here and a great place for the boys to play. The curtains over here are from Hobby Lobby and this teepee I got a lot of questions about. That was sent to me by a company on Amazon but they no longer sell them so I can't link it for you. And I do have a video showing how I hung up these bookshelves and these letters and these bookshelves actually used to be Ikea spice racks. So they were just that natural wood color, but I just painted them white. In this basket that I got from Home Goods, they keep all of their stuffed animals. This basket is jam-packed full of stuffed animals. I've got this fuzzy rug down here from Ross. They've got their little blue rocky horse back here. And this wall right here is just all closet. That's where I store some of their toys they're not playing with, all their clothes is in there, whole bunch of stuff. That closet is jam-packed full. And this cute little play sign I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby. Here's a look at this side of the room. I just, I really love this room. It's one of my favorite rooms in the house. I'll show you real quickly. I have my Lily Jade diaper bag hanging on the back of the door there. This little hook rack was only a dollar from the Dollar Tree and I just keep Kyle's backpack and jackets and his hat and belt hung up on there. And this cube organizer is just like the best thing ever for a kid's room. I will try to link it down below. And I used to have a gray bin here and a gray bin here, but I ended up taking them out and I actually like it a lot better that way because now I can just keep some of their extra books stacked in there. They can put some of their bigger toys up there. And I recently dramatically downsized their toys because they only played with half of their toys. So I just went through all of the toys and only kept the toys that they played with. And they've been able to keep this room a lot cleaner and they've actually been playing with their toys more because I think it was just too overwhelming before because there was too many toys. But now I only have the toys that they actually play with in these drawers. It has just really been working out well. They've been keeping their room clean. And we even have an empty bin right here, which I'm not sure what will go in there yet. In this bin is just Owen's diapers and wipes. And I took the changing pad off of the top of here because Owen was just almost too big for it anymore. And I always just changed him on the floor anyway. And in this little basket, I used to keep all of Owen's little baby things like lotions, all that kind of stuff. But he's growing up and doesn't have as many of those things. So I just keep all of that lotion and things in their bathroom drawer. And now in here, we've just got their finger paint crayons. They have a lot more crayons and pencils than this, but I need to get them out of the closet because I just recently filled this up with this stuff so I don't have everything in there yet. Their oil diffuser right here. I like to diffuse oil while Owen sleeps. This little sign from Hobby Lobby. I did this little collage up here on this wall and all of these items are from Hobby Lobby. Over here we just got their laundry basket, their little red wagon. Kyle likes to pull Owen around in that wagon. So yeah, that is pretty much this room. I have a detailed tour of this room that I did back before Owen was born. I filmed it like about a week before Owen was born so this room was more of like a nursery. I'll link it down below if you want to see how I used to have it set up as more of a nursery. Now it's sort of turning into more of a big boy room. It's not really a nursery anymore, which is kind of sad, but it's also fun at the same time. So that is pretty much going to be it for this house tour. I doubt most of you are still watching this video at this point because this video is going to be so long. I went into a lot more detail than I wanted to on this house tour. I just sort of wanted to do a quick house tour of the layout, but I ended up going into lots of detail. I wanted to ask a quick question before I closed out the video. Like I said, we're going to experiment this week with Kyle sleeping in this room room with
with Owen. We're gonna see how it goes. If it goes really good, I'm going to possibly be ordering bunk beds for this room, but I cannot make up my mind if I actually want to order bunk beds for their room. I can't decide if I wanna do bunk beds for them or if I wanna do two single beds. Obviously, bunk beds is gonna give them a lot more room to play, but I'm afraid that in like a year, I'm gonna regret the bunk beds. I don't know, I've never had them before, so I don't know what they're like. I don't know how the kids are gonna like them. So my question for you, if you've ever had bunk beds or if you have bunk beds, do you like them? Do you wish that you wouldn't have got them? Just let me know down in the comments. I'm trying to decide if I should order this bunk bed off of Overstock, but I just can't make up my mind because I don't wanna regret it in like a couple months or a year. So just let me know your thoughts down below on that. And I better close out this video here because it's getting super long. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in a few days with a new video. Bye.